Good day everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at a demo for Slaughterfest 3. This is map 20, Red Recluse, made by Armored Blood. Writing this map was equal parts interesting and extremely frustrating. Uh, you have plenty of opportunity to leave fights prematurely and come back later to clean up. Um, which is one of the things I really like when routing large maps like this. Um, but you all have to also have to deal with some extremely obnoxious cleanup at the end. Uh, the first half of the map is set in this really large outdoor blood lake kind of thing, um, and there's zero monster block lines around. Um, the blood is 20 damaging floor, and you only really have a, a handful of rad suits available to you. Um, the first few fights in that outdoor area contain a ton of cacos and they spawn in via some pretty slow teleporters So waiting around to clean them up is not really an option um, The lack of block monster block lines means that uh, when you go into the second half of the map Those cacos tend to clump up in a what is basically an inaccessible section of the map uh, while you're working through that second half um, it also means that when you are using, when you're doing the cleanup and you're using rockets, um, it's quite dangerous since a rocket can push them off and into the distance, and they can take literal minutes before they bump into the map boundary and manage to float back into range. Um, surviving through the first half is also pretty tough, um, as there's quite a lot of roaming cybers and vials on the map, um, and you rarely have access to full mega spheres or superchargers, um, so you're usually just working with 100 health at most. Lastly, um, there's also a handful of uh, broken monster spawners on the map, meaning the max kills possible is only 4,058, and that does annoy me a little bit, but uh, anyway. Um, all that said, I'm pretty happy with the improvement I made over the previous record, which I think was around about the 40 minute mark. Um, I still think the time can go a fair bit lower here. I had times in practice that were anywhere between 18 to 22 minutes. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't really able to string everything together properly in, in uh, a real attempt uh, to get quite close enough to that, um, mainly just due to some time that was lost during the, the cleanup phase. Anyway, enough rambling, let's get into the demo. Alright, so we start off by shooting, wake up the cybers, pull them away from the switch. And we want to rush down and hit this switch. That'll spawn in everything for the first fight and lower these two switches on either side. I want to rush through and hit them as quickly as possible. Hopefully, don't take too much damage from the manx on the way. Um, sometimes they can behave pretty badly and just demolish you. Um, thankfully, I got pretty lucky this time. I think I only took one hit and it was a, kind of a low one. Um, so once I'm back on the mainland, um, I'm just going to start working down some of these imps and revs. Um, it's not super critical that I clear these guys out early on, um, but I need to wait for long enough for the revs to fully spawn in, um, so that I've got time when I go down the other end to clear out the, f the four arch files that are blocking my path. Um, I could spend a little bit of time working on the cacos here, but it's very dangerous to do that, um, and it's, uh, yeah, I don't really think it saves all that much time in the end for, for reasons that will become clear later. So once those four arch files are dead, grab the plasma, push through, and I just want to hit these two switches as quickly as possible. Um, you can easily get blocked in by either arachnotrons or revs here, it's a little bit RNG how much damage you take. Um, hopefully you can push out here at 100. Grab the cells and push up. Um, part of the reason why I stayed on the right hand side of that previous room for as long as I did was just to bait the imps away from the from the left hand side of the wall so I could rush past. Uh, now this cyber down the bottom can easily ruin your day uh, depending on when he wants to fire. Um, you're pushing downstairs so it's hard to stop and change directions quickly. Uh, thankfully it was pretty, pretty nice that time. Um, I like to use at least one BFG shot to uh, knock that cyber off that ledge. Um, just so that it's easier for me to squeeze past uh, once I've hit these two switches, or sorry, three switches. And I want to grab the Megasphere before I push on. Um, I ideally want to try and maintain as much of this Megasphere as I can through the next few fights. Um, it's pretty rare to be able to squeeze through those cybers without taking any damage, quite lucky. Now I... SR50 down these stairs to try and do a line death skip, but I fail it this time. So I work in these vials. Um, doing a line death skip is not 100% required, it just makes this part of it a little bit easier um, because you don't have to deal with the cyber when uh, when I'm trying to make this jump. So I land on this platform here and mouse movement off to get the secret uh, rad suit. Rad suit is really important to be able to maintain the health through here. It's 20 damaging floor that I'm on, so. Um, if I have to be doing this without a rad suit, it's going to cost me quite a lot of my Megasphere. Push back down the other side. And thankfully that uh, Spider Mastermind didn't mess me up too much. 
I need to make sure I kill all the uh, hit scanners at the top here before moving on as well. Now we head back down and just start working on these guys with uh, rockets. I always do a double check on the uh, hit scanners on that right hand side. There is a lift there um, that they can kind of hide down uh, and I may miss them on the first time around so always check there straight away. Um, I don't want to use cells on these guys. I'm budgeting cells through these next couple of uh, rooms pretty um, carefully for one particular fight. Probably I think the hardest fight or at least the easiest fight to uh, get instagibbed on. I don't want to have as many cells as I can for that fight. One more BFG shot on these Arachnatrons. Grab and uh, back and grab a cell pack that I skipped earlier. So this next room is one that's really easy to die in. Um, you can pre-fire a BFG shot before you open the door and not wake up the cyber straight away and try and like rush him to get a very early efficient shot on him. Um, but it's super easy for him to just instantly turn and rocket you as soon as the BFG shot hits him. So. I, instead, I just um, you know shoot with my fist when I open the door, drag him down towards the uh, entrance, and then use two shots on him and finish him off with uh, SSG. Alrighty, so this fight, I just push in and kill the Hell Knights in this corridor uh, closet, and then I just basically sit here and camp. Uh, there's a lot of revs in this room, and there's also arch files that will target you, so you're kind of limited. Um, you really kind of need to sit on this left hand wall. You can't really afford to, to peek out too much because oftentimes there'll be a, a vial with a, a shot charged up. Um, and I always come across to this next closet um, after I've killed the majority of enemies. There can be some revs stuck in the, the, the kind of bottom closet to my left. And I don't want them appearing out of thin air in front of me as I'm trying to kill these vials off. Um, these vials can be a little bit annoying. Uh, oftentimes what will happen is you'll just keep killing the revenant over and over again and the vial will just keep on resing the same one um, ideally what you want to happen uh, what you want to have happen is for the vial to get in front of the revenant so you can finish him off first but uh, yeah it's pretty uncommon for that to happen usually you just have to spam a ton of rockets here um, there are a decent amount of cells in this room still that i could use but um Honestly, cells aren't terribly efficient at clearing out these vials. It's just, it's generally just quick to use rockets. So now with this fight done, we will finally be able to get access to a backpack in the next room. So I just pre-fire a couple of uh, BFG balls and we'll go back to clear out the four arch vials. Grab a cell pack and move back in. Just checking to see if there's any chain gunners close, which there aren't. And then I just basically stay to the back and make sure that I've killed out uh, all the chain gunners before moving forward while I'm uh, still um, getting BFG balls on the, uh, the Spider Mastermind. It's now full healed. We push in and get ready to start the finale off. Um, Pre-fire a few BFG shots here to just clear these arch files out. <coughs> And then I move back around at the top. Um, I need to clear all these guys off the top. Thankfully, Boom Physics helped me out there and uh, knock that uh, spot outside of him off so I don't have to worry about killing him. I just need them to be off the top of this uh, platform. So with the secret invuln, we're now going to push into the finale. Now, getting this first switch can be really awkward. It's very easy to get hit by a Cyber Demon rocket and just flung across the room. Um, and you really need the full length of Invuln here. Um, well, I mean, you, you don't 100% need it, but it makes this, getting this finale started uh, much, much safer. Um, so what I want to do is basically rush those two switches on either sides behind the Cyber Demons. Usually, you can use a last bit of Invuln to push past the top of the stairs there. Unfortunately, mine ran in a little bit early, uh, but I managed to get past the side of the Demons nonetheless. Fortunately, I spawned and ate a Cyber Demon rocket straight away, and with a lot of hit scanners around, I'm very worried. Thankfully, very close to, a, to another secret Megasphere. 
So now um, the two switches that we hit just before near the cyber demons, um, each one of them opens up these two kind of side um, areas. You want to push through and um, hit the two switches on either side that will just spawn in some extra enemies. And I want to have everything spawn in this room before I before I get out. Now this is probably a little bit of a mistake. I kind of got a little bit uh, disorientated coming out of that teleporter and went the wrong way. Um, I, I meant to go across to the other side. I'm actually going back to the same side as I was just on. Um, it's not the end of the world. I do need to clear these guys out anyway. Um, and me being in this room for a little bit longer just gives a little bit more time for infighting to, to get going between the rest of the enemies in the room. There's a megasphere up here as well that I can use to, to fill up before I push on. So now I'm just going to go over the other side. Grab a shotgun there so I can avoid the auto switch later on. And pretty much the same deal here. We've got another bunch of Manx with some arch files uh, in the left hand side from where I am at the moment. So I'm just clearing the majority of the Manx first before I uh, have, have room to push in against the vials. It's important that uh, when clearing out these vials you get behind that uh, that pillar as early as possible otherwise the vials from the other side can push out and, uh, and zap you. So now I can take this teleporter and go back to kind of the first half of the map. Unfortunately I was um, stunned by the teleporter and ate a rocket straight away which is uh, not ideal. But thankfully managed to recover. Unfortunately, it means that I have to do the cleanup uh, with without being at 200% uh, health, or, or at least close to. Um, so now that I'm out back in the main area, uh, I want to clear these revenants out first. Uh, they can be very annoying. Um, I don't want to deal with them if I can avoid it. Just need to be quite careful on this side because those cyber demons down the bottom can easily uh, shoot a rocket like to one side of the pillar, and you can path back into it if you're not uh, not being careful. Go back to the other side, clear out the rest of these revs. And the imps as well. Alrighty, so now I'm going to go back to the starting island. Three cybers are still alive here, and in the distance you can see the big group of revs. Those are the revs from the uh, first fight that we skipped and didn't clear out. Um, the main reason that I'm coming back here so early is because I want to draw all of the um, cacos kind of out into the middle of the, the pool of blood, effectively. Um, when I go inside to the main fight, um, all of the cacos, can't, you can't really see it from where I am at the moment, but they go to the um, to the left-hand side of the castle, and some of them can get stuck there. Um, I had a couple of practice attempts where um, I wasn't doing this. I was kind of doing the, the this clean-up part in a, in a quite a different way, and it would l lead to a lot of cacos just not pathing out properly. So instead, I decided to sit here for a little bit. It does waste a little bit of time. Um, it's also pro probably a little bit boring to watch, um, but it's critical to make sure that I don't miss any kills. Um, because I've got kind of two main parts of the map going at once, I don't have any kill counter to aim for, so I don't know how many kills I should be on when I go back inside. Um, so this was really the only kind of guaranteed way that I could uh, figure out of doing it. Um, so the cyber demons will start infighting against the, the revenants and some of the cacos as well. Um, Obviously, one of the big problems with this room is there's no monster block lines whatsoever. Um, so, those cyber demons infighting the cacos, they will shoot rockets to some of the cacos. Some of the cacos are going to fly off. There's not really anything you can do about it. Um, and that's kind of why I'm using some rockets myself. I know I'm going to shoot some of them off into the distance. It sucks, but it's, yeah, there's not really any, uh, any alternative, I don't think. Um, I don't stay here for too long, um, basically once I've ensured that uh, pretty much all of the cacos are away from the, uh, the castle walls, which they are, they're kind of all in the middle of the area at the moment, um, I know I'm pretty safe to, to go back inside. I can see that guy floating off, I'm not happy about it, but I'll, I'll just have to deal with him later. 
All right, so next order of business is going to be clearing out those uh, cyber demons that we left alive earlier uh, near the blue key. Um, want to clear them out kind of before anything else. I probably should have killed the revenants uh, on those pillars before moving down here. They end up causing me a little bit of grief um, in a little while. Uh, but yeah, I was just thinking, my, my only, only thing on my mind was just getting rid of these cybers because they are quite scary. And uh, somehow one of these uh, masterminds managed to survive. Um, so I'll take him out pretty quickly. Thankfully, I didn't take too much damage there. As you can see, I'm having to <laughs> work around those rev missiles. Definitely would have been easier if I'd uh, finish those guys off sooner. And I just decide I've had enough. I'll do it now. I was going to go for that last Kako, but uh, my rad suit was running out. And this is 20 damage in floor, so I can't really afford to sit in there for too long. So I just decide I'll let him float back and, and deal with him later as well. Got a little bit lucky there that I managed to get a rocket targeting with uh, that guy with auto-aim. If he flew off into the distance, it could be two or three minutes before he came back. So Grab one more rad suit. Hopefully this guy managed to come back without uh, too much delay. And now, basically, this big horde of Kakos has, has had time to float back to this uh, this part of the map, which is basically just easier to clear them out from. So there's mostly cells on these guys, because cells are going to knock them back less, and less, uh, less uh, thrust on the projectile. Unfortunately, he's flying as well. Now, I need to go back to the main island while I've still got a little bit of this rad suit left. This is basically the last... Well, no, it is the last rad suit that I've got available in this room. Um, and I need to have a little bit of rad suit left so that I can... Um, just in case any enemies have, have gone too far away from this, this main island. And I spot two Kakos that are right back towards the back of the room. And if I didn't have a rad suit here, there's not a chance that I'd be able to, to push back all this way and still make it back alive. Thankfully, not too many of them. They were both kind of in the same spot. I had one practice attempt where one was all the way on the left hand side and the other one was all the way on the right hand side and I just didn't have the rad suit to deal with it. I just need to work in these uh, sniping hell knights. Kakos left to clean up. Fortunately, the uh, traces from that first BFG shot had just enough thrust to start pushing that uh, Kako back. And yeah, by the time I um, by the time I thought to shoot a BFG in the wall, he was out of auto uh, aim range. I know that he's going to take forever to hit a wall and start floating back to me. Um, so what I decided to do is just use that time to do something um, that I need to worry about doing, which is clearing out these manks. Um, and I'm going to basically take that teleporter back to the um, uh, to the starting island again later and hope I can kill him from there. I also need to 
kill these revs as well. I don't have to kill these revs from here, but it just makes it a little bit easier later, and I know I've got time to burn. So now we're going to go back, take the teleporter back to the starting island. And this is obviously where uh, you could look at saving a lot of time. If you can somehow manage to clear out these cacos without, you know, too much of this back and forth, um, you'd be able to shave a few minutes off easily. Um, as I said, I, I had attempts in practice that were as low as about 18 minutes. I think, you know, a kind of low 20 to 22 minute time is, is much more reasonable in actual attempts. Um, but yeah, definitely, definitely could go quicker than I've gone here overall. Grabbing some more cells. I don't really need to get these cells. It was probably a waste of time in, in the end, but I wasn't thinking terribly straight at this point. And I just get annoyed with that revenant and decide I'll deal with him later. Um, I am checking too for cacos in that uh, blood trench. Sometimes they wander inside and get themselves stuck in there. It's always worth uh, just doing a quick check before pushing back inside because I'm not going to be going outside again. So I'm just going to be using the BFG from here uh, to clean these guys up. Unfortunately, this uh, barrier is a bit of a, a fast lift, so you need to, to be um, lowering and raising it quite a fair bit. Also, a good idea to be exposed to the uh, to the inside sections there to, to try and get infighting going in the final arena. So, last secret. Almost ready to push back in. Clear out these uh, revenant and bar closets, and then I'm going to work on um, clearing out a fair bit of the the main fight before I push um, push back over. Alrighty, um, so this is kind of a little bit of a boring spot, it's just basically rockets man. I've got in effectively infinite rockets on this side, so I decide to use them. You, you can use cells here, um, but it's not really as effective damage as you might think. Um, plus there's still a few vials left alive in the clump there, and if I expose myself too much then, then I'm just liable to get uh, multis out. Just basically trying to um, use these rockets to like tunnel away through so that I can start hitting these vials. I like to, if I can, clear all the vials that are on the floor before I push back over the other side. It's not always possible, um, and the amount of vials that are left alive is is going to vary too. Um, it would be nice to clear all those vials out before leaving the final arena, um, but they spawn in at unpredictable times through um, through monster closet teleporters, so you can't. And it's, yeah, it's just not worth staying there for long enough to, you know, get them all spawned in and kill them all off before before leaving. Plus, it's also quite dangerous to stay in that room for much longer. So, I just decide to leave as quickly as I can, basically. So now, the majority of the uh, Hell Knights blocking the vials are cleared out. I decide to do a push over with some cells. Still take a decent amount of damage from the revs. I have a full 600 stells um, waiting for me kind of on the other side before I... You know, just kind of behind where I am at the moment that I'll pick up before I push back across. Still somehow did not manage to kill that vial. Finally goes down. The 
There's still one floor by left alive, but I think I pretty much uh, am ready to go back across now. So as soon as I get inside, I like to do a quick check of uh, these kind of catwalk areas, make sure that there's no remnants or manks left up there that are going to snipe me. Um, I think I still have like two or three megas left in this room, so it's not a massive deal, but I'd still, you know, I'd just rather focus on securing it at this point, all the hard stuff is, uh, is done. And then I'm just going to work down most of the stragglers that are left on the ground. Shouldn't be too many left at this point, given how many rockets I uh, used up. And I also need to clear out the uh, these two kind of similar to the previous room. There's, there's two closets with um, a bunch of remnants and a, and a similar large file in them on each side. And unfortunately, kind of high up. I don't really know that cells are all that efficient to use um, there. I think probably rockets all the way is, is probably a little bit better. Once you're down to the last revenant, it can be a little bit annoying getting the, the rockets to hit. Okay, so it's pretty much just the uh, two kind of switch areas that we um, had to, to use to open up the, the main fight earlier to clear out. Uh, it's just effectively a, a ton of arch files and chain gunners stuck up on ledges. Not all that much of a threat as long as you're uh, careful about when to, to go out of line of sight. Bear in mind, there is um, the broken teleporter closet that I talked about at the start, so the uh, kill count that we're after is 4,058. Um, there's 130 something, 135 I think, uh, broken tele um, enemies that can't teleport into this final arena. I think it's six cybers and uh, just a bunch of revs and stuff. Kind of a shame because those extra six cybers would be good for infighting, um, but yeah, what can you do? And just ran out of cells and unfortunately got knocked down by that uh, that arch uh, archviles blast. I thought I'd be able to finish him off pl with plasma, but uh, yeah. And we're done. Alrighty, everyone. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Catch you later.